Well, as the start of a new school year nears for some students at an El Paso ISD middle school are now banned from wearing all black clothing at school. And this after school officials claim it's associated with mental health issues. ABC 7's Brianna Pettis joins us live with more details. Brianna. Stephanie Paul, EPISD officials say this is in response to student safety concerns brought forward by parents and teachers at H.E. Charles Middle School. Still, some parents have mixed feelings about the change. I don't think we should be grouping and um, red flagging kids that just like to wear black. It brings down, I think, the mood of the school if, if it's just black. Parents for and against the all black clothing ban at H.E. Charles Middle School. While some say it's a reflection of their mental health and should be addressed, others think it imposes on the students' self expression. I understand that that's a concern, but keep in mind that student safety is our number one priority. And so anytime, you know, there are concerns that are brought forward about student safety, it's important for us to take those seriously. This comes after parents received a letter from the school's principal stating they are eliminating the look of black tops with black bottoms, claiming it is associated with depression and mental health issues. EPISD officials say last year the school allowed black pants. Now only khaki pants and blue jeans will be allowed. Um, wearing your uniform is a part of the school rules. So at every campus, if there are uniform violations, it can be a disciplinary infraction, but that is up to every administrator. I spoke with mental health expert Krista Wingate about if the clothing children choose to wear correlates with their mental well-being. I think there's so much more that can be considered when we're thinking about mental health struggles and challenges with adolescents and young children. Other than clothing, she says it's important to look at a child's behavioral patterns when concerned about their mental state. It's important to not just focus on one thing that they're noticing change in their child, but maybe looking at things overall. And then, of course, having the conversation with the student or your child about that. EPISD says it is the campus's decision to implement a dress code. Their school year begins on Monday, August 5th. For more tips on what signs to look out for and how to speak to your children about mental health, go ahead and click on this story at KVIA.com. Steph Paul.